I am concerned, um, Dr. Bright, that the Trump administration does not have plans for a nationwide vaccine program to ensure that once a vaccine is approved, we'll be able to quickly make it available to everyone. In other words, I don't want to see the same mistakes by the Trump administration, the incompetence that they had with the supply chain and the testing repeated with the vaccine. And you stated at the outset of the pandemic in January, you began urgently pressing HHS officials to provide the necessary resources to begin vaccine development, but that your pleas fell on deaf ears. And as the pandemic progressed, you also stated you were alarmed by the pressures coming from some administration officials for your agency to invest in drugs and vaccines, I quote, without proper scientific vetting or that lacked scientific merit. Uh, can you tell us where we are now in the hunt for a vaccine and where we could have been had the HHS leaders made investment decisions sooner than that were based on scientific merit? Thank you, Congressman. As we all know, vaccines are very difficult to make. It's, it's mm -hmm. nothing that you can do quickly, and you need multiple shots on goal to try to make a vaccine. There are many diseases we've attempted to make vaccines for through history, and we still haven't been able to do so. So it takes many opportunities and many different approaches. Right now, there are over 100 different approaches for developing a vaccine for this coronavirus. So we're confident that um, hopefully, I should say, at least one of those or two of those will work, but you've identified key critical challenges that we need to anticipate and prepare for early. Number one is the, rep the supply chain for those vaccines, needed reagents and buffers and salts and various ingredients that go into a vaccine, as well as the glass vials that the vaccines are put into, and needles and syringes, and then a carefully coordinated distribution and administration strategy. We haven't yet gotten to those downstream strategies yet in our government, and I think those are gonna become a significant issue down the road if we don't plan for that now. The, the urgent need for funding at the outset of a, of a pandemic is something we've known about through many years of pandemic exercises. Even in our August 2019 Crimson Contagion exercise, it was highlighted that we would need at least $10 billion from the outset of a pandemic to start the development of drugs and vaccines. Every day we delay, delays the output of that vaccine or drug. Oh, okay. And so in those early days, my first meeting with Secretary Azar, I asked for funding for people and for those viruses, the three critical things to get the vaccine started. It took some time to get the funding available through various processes. But what BARDA did is we began to look internally at other contracts and other programs we had to redirect some available funding, some minimal funding, to even as early as January be able to initiate contracts or agreements with some companies to start working on those vaccines as soon as possible. It's because of those actions now that not only have those vaccines started and made some progress, but also the United States has a placeholder with some of those companies to be able to place orders for those vaccines when they are available. And we did everything possible to ensure that those investments were in companies that would build capacity in the United States to manufacture those vaccines. We had to get in line first, even when the money wasn't fully there to complete the development program. That's what we did.